Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I don't know what that was. Anyways, I'm really excited for this video today because if you can't tell, I look kind of weird. Um, I got the Pat McGrath bronzers. Yeah. So I got the two shade pack, you know, where you could, you could have picked two. And I got... I think the only shades I've seen people review, to be honest. The Nude Honey and Bronze Dawn. And it comes in this really beautiful packaging. Like, it's more beautiful in person. The camera does not do it justice. So, and you open it kind of like a cigarette box. <laughs> but it opens like that. And then you have your bronzers. When I first opened these bronzers, I thought that they looked like... Too light. I mean, the initial reaction is I really didn't think it was going to work for me. They come in the same packaging as their blushes, but these are the two shades. One is cooler and one is obviously warmer. And, but look, I mean, you know, it, this one looks like it won't work, but we're going to try it. So yeah, the packaging is just the normal Pat McGrath packaging and then on the back with her gold writing and it's got like a button clasp and you just press it and it opens. And then of course, and then she has her um, usual impression on there, embossing. So yeah, I'm just going to take my Made by Mitchell mirror and we're going to try these out. I'm going to do Bronze Dawn on this side, which is the warmer one. And then I'm going to do Nude Honey, which is the cooler one on this side. And then I'll finish it just by, you know, mixing them so that they're even on each side. And then blush and all that good stuff. Okay, so starting with this side. It's very light. Definitely buildable. That's really pretty. It's very light. Natural. It's definitely like a natural shadow look. But definitely buildable. So I like that a lot. Subtle. Natural. But okay, so then we're going to go in with Bronze Dawn. I mean, the difference is so subtle. I don't know if you can... I mean, so subtle. I don't know. I kind of like the cooler toned one more. I mean, I could honestly walk out right now with the two different ones and you, you wouldn't be able to tell. I could probably build this other side up a little bit more. I like both of them. They're both very soft. Very soft and creamy. I'm a fan. Now, I will say, unpopular opinion. These are expensive. That's not the unpopular opinion, but I feel like I like bronzers that are more affordable just as much. So I don't know. I mean, if you want it for collection purposes for the embossment and to have Pat McGrath on there, I mean, I say go ahead, why not? But if, you know, I don't know. I just, I have bronzers that I like the same, you know. Just gonna go in and kind of even it out and mix the two on both sides. See what we get, you know. So hold on one th So yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely out of the two prefer the nude honey, the cooler toned, almost lighter shade on me for some reason. Um, I definitely prefer this one over Bronze Dawn, but they're good. I mean, I don't regret purchasing them. It's just a lot of money for a bronzer. It's good. It's, it's amazing. So I'll be right back. I'm going to finish my blush and my highlighter and I will be right back. Okay. So for blush today, I'm using the one size, um, cheek clapper 3d blush trio in rich betch. And it just looks like this. It's a super deep tone. I don't know how I feel about this. It pretty much emphasized all my texture and like stuck to it. It was my first time using it and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to keep using that. I don't know. And then of course, um, my Rare Beauty highlighter in Mesmerize. It's the peachy pinky tone. And that's what I'm wearing for the rest of my face today. Um, so my final thoughts on the bronzers. The packaging is 
absolutely stunning beautiful i definitely don't think that somebody needs two shades of this unless you're like an avid collector or makeup artist or you really really feel like you absolutely need them i don't think that you need two shades i mean they're giving the same effect they're giving kind of the same you know everything i know they're supposed to be a shimmer shade i don't have that obviously they're both matte very very matte finishes but they're just so close in color i mean it's it's so almost impossible to see but I mean next to each other you can but if you're like oh yeah and then oh yeah I mean I don't know I don't think you need both but I definitely don't regret purchasing them I think they're a nice addition to my collection and I'm excited to keep playing with them I do think they're smooth as butter I'm actually gonna swatch them on my hand just so you can see them on my hand side by side doesn't even look like it's showing up Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but yeah, so I have Bronze Dawn Nude Honey on my hand, which now they're kind of giving a luminosity, but they're not. They're, they're matte. They're very matte. But they're just so similar in color, you know, I just don't, I don't know. That's my thoughts and my opinions on these two, so. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like this, and stick around for more videos if you like me, if you like my content. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.